What about the food? Let's talk about the food first before we go to the questions. I see. Look. I'm going to look. <laughs> first of all, you're a picky eater. I'm a picky eater. I don't even eat that much. So that already is just like, I'm already getting, I'm already getting, um, yelled at left and right because all Kenyans like to do is eat. <laughs> they just eat like five times a day, drink tea five times a day. So it's like, if I'm not eating five times a day, like they think I'm, there's a problem. Like <laughs> I know. it's genuinely an, a like health issue. So, so yeah. it's the village roads just aren't done. Yeah. And it's just gravel and rock. And then the actual roads that are done, they just don't even have any lines. Like people just don't follow <laughs> directions. That was getting they on just my nerves. Drive, they do whatever they want. It's like New York on steroids yeah, because yeah. there's no, there's no, no even like at least New York. I feel like they have some type of system, you know, with it's, the bikers it's and the taxis. It's, it, it is. Yeah. But this was not. This is really disorganized chaos. And it was Hi guys. Here's Hi my, guys. Here's my daughter. She's joining us on the live oh. we are live on tiktok also hello and we are live on um youtube so oh, uh double line. yeah we do doubles <laughs> oh you look nice what's yeah. with the lip gloss it's the lip stain nice it yeah. looks nice first of all it was your first time to go there so yeah tell us about about that oh okay well yeah it was my first time going it was pretty um i really enjoyed it it was a long flight too long too long it was like 15 hours 22 like in total a whole day of traveling but it was nice to land and get there and then after like wh where did we go first right 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 uh -huh. yeah yeah that's where we were i don't know where that is but yeah we went to Rui to uh, my sister's because we arrived at like 3 a.m yeah we got there at 3 a.m so we, you know yeah what's going on yeah we just needed to sleep yeah. but of course you can't sleep you just got there and everybody and wants you to drink in your tea. face and everything oh man <laughs> we were up for like, like another tea. hour and a half or something i was like oh no nah, man I'm yeah ready to go sleep i know and then the next morning we had to wake up and drive to bahata well, from right to from right to nairobi was a short one and then from nairobi to nakuru Rai is in Nairobi. One. Oh, okay. Rai is yeah, in Nairobi. Yeah, because it was a, a short drive. It was like 20 yeah. minutes. Rai is in Nairobi. Yeah. So we got from there. Then we went to the village. Then we went to the village. Which was three hours. Yes. Yeah, that was a mess. But we stopped. We <laughs> but stopped. But it was kind of fun. It wasn't that bad. I was just, we were just cramped in the back because it was like four of us in the back seat the whole time. <laughs> we had to go. We had to do what we, we had to do. We were just shoving people. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. was like crazy. It, ugh, it was, it was kind of but we stopped we stopped by different spots like you remember we stopped shop, at shop the shop inside, yeah. yeah what about the food let's talk about the food first before we go to the questions i see look i'm going to <laughs> look first of all you're a picky eater i'm a picky eater i don't even eat that much so that already is just like i'm already getting i'm already getting um yelled at left and right because all Kenyans like to do is eat. <laughs> they just eat like five times a day, drink tea five times a day. So it's like, if I'm not eating five times a day, like they think I'm, there is a problem. Like <laughs> I know. it's genuinely an, a like health issue. So I'm like, oh God. So I was just, I was, I was trying. All right. And I, I am like obsessed with fast food right now. Like, I'm just not. Yeah, but what? Uh, even... Where you get uh, the chicken? Chicken in? Yeah, chicken uh, in or KFC. Like that was my saving grace, I guess. <laughs> but like, we didn't even have any pizza at any point when we went to the mall. We yeah, didn't see and any pizza. I was without pizza, but yo, that burger that I had at the mall was good. That was good. That, that I was ate like that a, something, something. It was burgers. a cheeseburger, and it was it was American fried chicken, not KFC. It yeah. was like their little best friend yeah okay so it was american it was that kfc chicken. wannabe yeah pretty much but it was good it was good bro. i could see you guys like oh, eating so bro. fast in the and fries then one of my cousins daniella she was right next to me she's talking about i've never had a burger before and she's like <laughs> wow. eating that dawn i was like <laughs> told you it was good like when do i ever lie i i told her like seriously. yeah that that was 
the food uh, for me, I was um, I was okay because yeah, because she already <laughs> eats all that stuff still. I still make that like stuff, makes yeah. it still, so yeah. it's not anything crazy. So I was. Uh, did you eat mahindi chama? Is no. that grilled corn? Yeah, I did. <laughs> that, the grilled no, corn. that grilled corn. We came good. back from. I don't we, know. When we came back well, from we were the in market. the no, we were in the village. It's when we yeah. were in the village. Yeah. When we we walked to the market and then we came oh, back and they man. were grilling. Oh, we walked in that market and then I we also walked in town mm-hmm. in Nakuru though. Oh. Like when we were in the village, we walked to the market. Mm-hmm. But then when we were in the when we were we came back, I think it was because we were bringing back the tent stuff. We were giving it to the neighbor, giving it back oh. to the neighbor. Then you and kept we, walking. Yeah, no, we went there and then we came back and someone was making it. Like they oh, were just yeah, making yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, So then we, uh, I was like, I have some, I guess. And yeah. It was like grilled. Um, it tasted like meat. Why the corn taste like meat? Maybe because they had because, used it. Yeah, I know. So when grill. you grill it on, like yeah. they grilled. Because they had grilled they, Yeah, they, grilled, they had goat yeah. on there. Yeah. So yeah. that was good. Then oh, that was. I think that was one of the first things that I wanted to eat was the my indi choma. Mm. Uh, we call it maize yeah maize uh maize. is corn uh and so i i was so excited then the nyamachoma guys the nyamachoma it hit different over there as opposed to I the ones that here, we obviously. get it here yeah, the cows like local the cows strip. that's local strip. the cows are different the cows weird. are different mm. so like we didn't have eh? <laughs> the kenyan american home how are eh? you so your daughter is beautiful. Did she get a Kenyan? Wait. Okay. <laughs> Did you? No. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't even I... meet anybody. But the thing is, okay, the thing is, I'm really light-skinned. But, yeah. like, I could be Kenyan there. Like, people would assume I could just be light-skinned Kenyan, right? Yeah, because like, Daniela is light-skinned. Daniela is light-skinned. And then one of my, like, second cousins or something, her name was Lindsay. And yeah, she's, she's light-skinned, light-skinned, too. light-skinned, yeah. But, she, but you know, she's from, uh, she's from Kenya. But yeah. anyway... No, but the guys were looking at me though. They were looking at you. Everywhere they... <laughs> I was walking, they were looking at me. You know, though. most of the time I wasn't hanging out with you guys because me, I was with the women and the parents. Yeah, and and you I guys didn't want to get caught up in y'all doing something yeah. and taking like hours and then I'm just stranded there because I don't have nowhere to go. And the Gen Z's were by themselves just doing their own things. Yeah. So that was crazy. Mm-mm. Nobody I mean, was hollering. Were... Nobody was like giving you yeah, their were... phone numbers. I mean, and they stuff. were they were looking for real, but I, I peeped. Mm-hmm. But I wasn't but gonna say have taken some No, digits. because everybody was letting me know like how Kenyan men are. So I was like, nah. Oh, oh, is that another topic, guys? Yeah. <laughs> how does she already know about Kenyan men? Yeah, any reputation is Arabica, guys. Your reputation yeah. is ooh, what? What happened, uh, Kenyan men? Every day, yourselves. I've heard. I've heard all of the all of the whatever i need to hear so the kenyan american home says they hate on us the kenyan men so much though we we are cool he says hey, they're, they're, they're still good men out there but it's like everybody else right it's like american men too like they're all trash except for like the one percent you know what i mean so it's the wow same, it's the same everywhere like i'm just trying to find the one percent that's where we're at keep looking if you are at the one percent my daughter is looking hey yeah i'm 20 no young <laughs> no young kids out here nobody below <laughs> nobody below 19, 19. That's disgusting. So oh, the kenyan american home what are some mm. heads up things you would say to a parent traveling with kids to kenya just about the sick stuff because they'll probably get sick yeah. i think yeah and food S- food and different food. water unless your kids are already adapted to kenyan food then i bring some like bring some medicine I brought medicine. Sure. I brought medicine I uh, bring, because my... I didn't know what to expect. Because I didn't know what what she how she would react. I know I would, I knew I would yeah. be okay, but I didn't know how she would react mm-hmm. to the weather, to the food, to anything. So I brought uh, ibuprofen, some Tylenol, some anti fever medications, some anti diarrhea medications, some anti constipation. Uh, indigestion, mm-hmm. um, hydrocortisone for itching. Didn't um, we didn't. It's better not to need. I it. only needed the Alka Seltzer stuff. Like the the Alka Seltzer for the sore throat. We yeah. did that, and then I had brought a uh, um, blood pressure kit that I was gonna bring to my sister. So I used that. I I had the vital signs kit. I had a thermometer. I had mm-hmm. a pulse. 
pulse ox machine mm -hmm. to check the oxygen level and i had the uh the thermometer she had like an at-home yeah. nurse kit for real yeah like, so i would much. bring that when you have children because um ha the, the way i knew she was dehydrated it was the heart rate was like so high mm -hmm. at some point so i had to push we had this powder called liquid IV. Yeah. So I had to mix that with water and have her like drink a whole drink lot. A whole she had thing. brought this water thing. It's probably pitcher. 32 ounces. Yeah. So I had to make her drink that uh, because you could see that she was really going down. She was getting Everybody dehydrated. said I looked sick. Everybody said I was yeah. looking sick. Yeah. So you, I was like, yeah. you are looking <laughs> sick. And, and uh, when I took your vitals, I was like, okay, she needs to drink. And then she wasn't eating enough. So just... Um, Watch your kids while you're there. I know um, I know we are having fun with family and enjoying ourselves, but especially the American kids uh, who are not used to being out uh, until they get until they adapt, until their bodies get used to it. Mm -hmm. uh, watch them because anything can happen very quickly. Uh, because of changes in weather, changes in food. And it's like any age if you're not accustomed to being there because yeah. I have a friend and she went she went to Nairobi like a week or two before we did. And she told me the same. She told me she woke up in the middle of the night and like threw up. Like the fumes were crazy. Yeah. Like she told me the exact like the same thing. Like she didn't get a cold, but she had like like symptoms and stuff and she wasn't feeling like that good. So yeah. And she's my age, so we were both... And then constipation. <laughs> constipation, Yay. by the way. That was actually a thing, and being bloated. Because the stomach is like, what is going on? What's this I food? Guess. I'm not used to this food. But because you didn't but eat didn't enough, much, you were not getting constipated. I but I know um, that that's a thing. And then make sure you drink plenty of water. What would you guys recommend Kenyans learn from the U.S.? As a, like to something to borrow from here? We're already borrowing a lot of things. Like the malls are almost the same. Yeah. Like two rivers. Like here. in the city, like Nairobi is yeah. like pretty modernized. Like. If the roads, if if the all roads, the roads can be better. Damn. Do you remember going to Rui? I wanted to just do. If it was during the day, I would have just come it's off actually, and walked. Actually, it's actually all the roads. So yeah. it's the village roads just aren't done. Yeah. And it's just gravel and rock. And then the actual roads that are done, they just don't even have any lines. Like, people just don't follow <laughs> directions. That was getting they on my nerves. They just drive. They do whatever they want. It's like New York on steroids yeah, because yeah. there's no, there's no, no even. Like, at least New York, I feel like they have some type of system, you know, with it's, the bikers it's and the taxis. It's, it, it is. Yeah. But this was not. This is really disorganized chaos. And it was. Oh, I, I was survive. feeling like that's if you can pray drive there. Look, that's why we were praying before every <laughs> journey. That's why they pray because it's actually it serious. Actually a thing. Like it's actually serious yeah. before any long two hour whatever. When we were all about to travel as a group, you yeah, have to dude, pray every it's time. It's a mess. You have to pray. But the roads, man. I mean, if we can build the roads, if we can fix the roads, uh, our government officials and and everybody who's responsible for building this, those roads, Kenya would be like. Because I really, I loved staying there. Those two weeks were like healing for me. And I low-key like walking. Yeah. I only, I like, I like, I anywhere. like being able to walk to a store. Like Delaware, you have to drive everywhere. If you yeah. want to go to the store, you have to drive. Like you have to drive. And a lot of places in America, most of them are all like that, where if you're going to the store, you have to drive. Yeah. I love the idea, like, like in New York, that's why I love New York. You just come out the hotel and you walk down the street and it's like the mall or it's a store, or it's a 99 cent pizza. Like, I I love that vibe, where yeah. you can just walk down the village, turn the street, and then there's the market. You can get some food, some snacks, some drinks. Some clothes, clothes shoes. anything, man. <laughs> it's like, good, because I'm not trying to, and then it's like, you barely have to pay for gas. Oh, by the way, and they pump gas for you. And they pump Remember? the gas for you, it's like Jersey. That was different. Yeah, like they Jersey, pump but... gas for you, so that was different. Would, yeah. you would you recommend? Would you recommend someone from mm -hmm. US to live permanently in Kenya, and why? <laughs> yes, but it depends on like the type of lifestyle you live. Like Americans are not, they're not, they are not brought up in the same way that Kenyans are brought up. Like if that makes sense, like they value Kenyans value school a lot. Like we do too, but we're at the point in his in time where it's like not everybody goes to college or not everybody does whatever. So they value school a lot. 
you can't you have like basically no freedom until you're 18 and in college so it's like a whole different type of lifestyle the food is different like if you live in the city depending on like if you want to work there you probably shouldn't I would like you would probably suggest like if you were going to live there permanently like save up like save up or live in the village because it's cheap and yeah and you don't have to. But did you see the billboards that were on the, um, the billboards talking about 7.9 million shillings and like 8.5 million shillings for like a one bedroom condo is crazy. Yeah. I'm just saying. Like, even if it's converted, I'm not paying all that for a one bedroom, bro. But me having, having lived on both sides. I would mm-hmm. say it's, it's doable. But it's easier to go from village to high life than from high life to village. Yeah, but I've seen like on YouTube and on TikTok, a lot of Americans are moving back. 